You are listening to Car Pro Insider Podcast, episode 35, five things every car sales professional should do in 2017, especially if they're not already doing so. Let's hop to it. Hey, what's up? I'm Robert Wiseman, and I have helped car sales professionals from around the world sell more cars by building their personal brands, attracting high-quality car buyers, and becoming the go-to car guy or gal in their marketplace. So what does it take to become the car sales professional that people are lining up to do business with? This is the Car Pro Insider. Yo, yo, what's up, my car pro This is the Car Pro Insider Podcast. As I said, session 35, I am Robert Wiseman, and I'm super stoked that you are here for the first episode for 2017. I hope everybody had a great new year, closed the year out strong. Hopefully you hit your goals. Um, If you didn't, I hope you figured out maybe where uh, you lacked or or what barriers or what was there that... forbid you and stopped you from hitting these goals in 2016. So in 2017, you'll have a better chance of doing so. Listen, I'm sorry that it's been a delay. I haven't seen you and sat down with you for a session. And if you just mad busy with the holidays, mad busy with my uh, projects, working with Ryan Stuman for the Hardcore Closer podcast and some other clients and business that I've been attending to, some personal things and whatnot, but we are back at it for the first episode of 2017. Now, I want to help you kick this year off right, get this first quarter uh, pumping, you know, run that score up in the first quarter so the second, third, and fourth quarters are a little bit easier for you, right? That's what it's all about, just like in any kind of sports and what have you. So that's why in today's episode, we're going to jump into five things that you as a car sales professional need to do, need to put in action for 2017. Now, some of you might already have some of these um, already working for you, uh, might have already put these in action. Maybe you have all five of them and that's what's up. That means you are definitely on the right um, avenue and on the right road to knocking out your goals and having a dope and killer 2017. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into five things every car pro should be doing in 2017. All right, so let's jump in. Number one is a website. Look, we're rolling. This is 2017, bro. If like you're looking to really take a hold of the marketplace in a digital aspect where everything is happening first, through a digital aspect, through online searches. You don't have a website, bro, you're missing the boat, man. You are missing the boat. Having Facebook, having YouTube, Instagram, all that is almost next to useless without a website, without your home base. You've heard me say it a zillion times if you have been here with me before that That audience and those people that you attract, those followers, those likes, those connections you build online via all those social platforms are worthless without a home base because you don't own that audience. Facebook owns that audience. YouTube owns that audience. You do not. When it's your website, you build an audience there that's yours. You own it. It becomes your asset. Look, 90% plus of all transactions, right, are starting from, and automotive transactions, rather, are starting from a Google search. Man, if you're not up on a website and and, and making things happen on your own website, man, you're not, you know, you're not there. You're not in the game on that Google search because your Facebook stuff doesn't you know, get any love from Google. So listen, it's time to create a website. Your hub, your online headquarters is your website. So if you're serious about being a player in automotive sales and making noise digitally, it's time to buckle down and put together a website. 
that's 100% sure. At the show notes at robertwiseman.com slash 35, you will have information where you can learn more about the Automotive Professionals website there along with this post. Number two is creating content online. This goes, again, with a website, right? It follows your website. The content creates credibility, creates traffic, and it helps build your authority and it helps build relationships, right? People start their searches with not, hey, I want to buy this or I want this. They're asking questions to Google. So in return, creating content that answers said questions will help you with attracting individuals and attracting these people via um the Google search, right? We'll put you in front of them, help get you out there more. We'll help you build the relationship, right? When you're asking someone to do business with you and come down and see you and ink up with me, yeah, you might get some here and there, but in the long, you know what I mean, at scale, right? Man, most people aren't going to be into that, man. It's like asking someone to marry you on the first date, right? Like nobody's feeling that. You know what I mean? So content allows you to educate Show your chops, build your authority, at, which will lead to relationships, which then, of course, leads to sales. So that's number two is you need to start creating content online. I'm not talking about Facebook posts, this and stuff, this and that. I'm talking about videos through YouTube and also blog posts and whatnot from your website. Content that's searchable that people will find and come across along their journey, right? Number three is going to be building more local awareness. Now, you listen, like the auto biz, man, it is the you know, 9 times out of 10 it's a local business, right? You're doing business with other locals, even within like 50, 60 miles, right? It's a local business. So you need to build your awareness locally. Now, a couple ways you can do that is through a um hitting up networking events and and chamber events and things like that like getting engaged with your local community showing up to events and becoming a figure at these two is to be running like targeted facebook campaigns and things like that to local individuals which that goes back into number two with creating content also that helps you stick out and stand out and another one three is Getting involved with local meet other local media assets, right? Like radio stations, uh, local magazines, local newspapers. Listen, they're dying for people to contribute. You show that you can bring value to their audience. They're going to let you in. You're the automotive expert. Man, I used to do local radio, local newspapers, and published in local magazines like City Magazines. All from going on stupid stuff like, and it's not stupid, I mean, it's just so easy, like how to save money in gas, how to find the right car, how to get your money, your, pardon, your car ready for winter, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that stuff is looked over and has so much power because it does wonders for your authority. And listen, you're a local business, right? So you need to become a local celebrity. Forget being a Facebook celebrity with people within the automotive industry and people knowing you within the industry. That that has no value. You need to be known in your community locally. All right. Number four, because we're smoking through these because you know, even though I ain't been here with you for a hot second, you know that I'm all about getting you in and out back onto that showroom, back onto those blacktops, back onto the phone, back onto the Internet so you can start cranking deals, making things happen. Four is become a student of marketing. All right. I'm going to assume at this point you've been a student of sales for a while now. You've learned the closing techniques. You've learned how to handle objections. You've learned your steps to the sale, right? You've learned uh, how to present the product. Like I show you how to do a killer vehicle presentation in the previous episode. If you haven't peeped that, hit it at Robert, W-I-E-S-M-A-N dot com slash 34. That's going to show you how to deliver a compelling presentation that closes sales. But you need to become a student of marketing. Because now, once you learn how to close the deals and learn how to handle customers, learn how to be a 
you know, gangster when it comes to working with customers is you need to get more people in front of you. That's going to become the problem. That's going to become the challenge. And that's what marketing does. It gets more eyeballs on you, which gets you more people in front of you. So you need to become a student of marketing through reading books, taking online courses, watching YouTube videos, um, going to conferences. And this is outside of automotive stuff. Like you don't need just automotive specific content. Right. I think what gave me an unfair advantage is I learned outside of automotive, even when I was in automotive, because I realized that people are people communicating with people is communicating with people. It doesn't have to be automotive specific. If it works in one industry and attracts people and is successful for like an Amazon, this and that, I need to take that strategy, take that approach and custom tailor it around what I'm selling, what I'm doing. So become a student of marketing. Commit to being a rock star marketer and learning from the best of the best outside of automotive. Again, at robertwiseman.com slash 35, I'm going to have links and a nice infographic to help you with some with your marketing so you can really step that up in 2017 because that's where... I see a lot of salespeople, automotive salespeople, really, really dropping the ball. Like people that have the talent, they're ready to close. They can handle the customer and people when they're in front of them. But the problem is they're not getting in front of enough people. They're depending on the up bus, right, and depending on the dealership to put them in front of enough people. And that ain't going to cut it, man. Trust me, I've been there. Become a student of marketing, videos, books, audio books, Purchase online courses. I'm going to provide you some resources for that again with the show notes at robertwiseman.com slash 35. Number five, and then we're going to get up on out of here, is create and write your goals. Now, this is something I learned from Grant Cardone uh, years and years ago, and this is something that I just uh, produced a episode for the Hardcore Closer podcast with my boy Ryan, Ryan Stuman about is uh, creating and smashing your goals for 2017. And I can't stress enough the importance of on, you know, as much as you can, a daily basis is ideal because out of sight is out of mind. But dive in and figure out what your goals are through the auto industry, through your work, right, through financial, uh, financially, right, through personally, through relationships, and then through things you want to have, right, and then things with your family, all that, like every goal you have, short-term, long-term, and there's no such thing as too big of a goal, you need to write these things down on a regular basis and review them and keep them in front of you <clears throat> because, it, believe it or not, it sounds insane and something like hey yeah i don't need to do that i got my goals i know i have them in my head every day nah man writing them down saying them out loud and reviewing them uh, as often as you possibly can is going to really make it more probable that you're going to crush those and accomplish those in in the years to come so you know figure out what your goals are identify them create them put them together and then document them and write them on a regular basis every day, every morning, I suggest. That's something I learned from Grant, and I also uh, I know Ryan does, and it's something that I've stuck with for a long, long time, and it's very, very, very important. It's something we forget about, something we take for granted, something we think isn't that important, but I guarantee you, like you, if you ain't writing them down and didn't hit them, start writing them down, and I promise you, promise you, the probability of you knocking them out and hitting them this time around is going to go up drastically. Insanely, it's going to go up, right? So write those goals down. Identify them, document them, write them down, keep them in front of you at all times. So real quick, man, and I'm going to peace out on you. Let's run through these five things every car pro needs to do in 2017. One is have a website and have a website strategy. It's 2017, bro. Everything you're doing online, you think you're online with Facebook, with YouTube, with Twitter, with Instagram, with whatever, man, you ain't even began to penetrate 
what the rewards and what can happen online. Two is creating content, creating digital content, whether it be through YouTube videos, blog posts, podcasts like this, infographics, whatever. Have them on your website. Distribute them through any channel that you can. More than just a Facebook post or an Instagram post, man, that's not what I'm talking about. Stuff that ties back to you, backlinks to you, makes you populate in searches. That's two, create content. Three is increase your local awareness. You're a local biz, man. Act like one. Become a local celebrity. Become uh, published in local magazines, on local radio stations. You can show them how you can deliver value to their audience They will put you on, man, for sure. And look, they're dying for contributors to these local publications, especially if you're in an off-market. If you're in like NYC, Los Angeles, Chicago, man, this isn't going to be as easy. But if you're in an off-brand, off-market, secondary, third-tier market, this right here is easy and you are totally missing the boat because it's going to increase your credibility and increase your distribution. Four, become a student of marketing. At this point, I'm going to assume you're a student of sales. You've been studying closing, studying sales, the steps of the sale, your product knowledge, all that, right? Become a student of marketing and don't be afraid to pay attention and to look into outside of the automotive sales market, man. That's where you're going to get your most and figure out how you can, uh, you know, custom tailor it to be focused for automotive take those same strategies and techniques that people are using successfully outside of automotive bring them in the automotive world and the last one number five is create document and you know create and write your goals right you need to keep these in front of you as often as possible this sounds little you've heard it a million times but if you're not doing it you are screwing yourself i promise you Create your goals, know what they are, identify them, and then write them down every day ideally, but as often as you can, continuously write them down. They don't have to be the same every day. It can be what you're feeling then, but it has to be you know, something you really want to accomplish, whether it be you know, business-wise, personally, uh, physically, what have you. All right, that's it, episode 35. I'm so glad to be back, and that's what we do here. We get you in and out like a robbery, baby. I hope you had some kind of value from this. If you ain't got all five of these in action this year, it's time to start to do at least one of these five. If you got all five of them, boom, muzzle tough. You're killing it. You're on the right track. You got three of them, do the other two. This stuff is not the hardest things to do because that's what I'm here to give you is like not overcomplicate it, not put not give you stuff that not everybody can go out and do. I want to make it easy and simple because that's what makes money. Again, thank you so much for being here. Get all the examples, show notes, and resources that I talked about in this episode. Again, at Robert Wiseman, W-I-E-S-M-A-N dot com slash 35. Also, if you like this episode and you want some further training, I have some complimentary, free, and some paid premium training that you can access immediately at Robert Wiseman, W-I-E-S-M-A-N dot com slash training that's robertwiseman.com slash training all right until next week and i will be back again with a dose for you next week stay hungry stay out there pounding the blacktops and making it happen peace